What's up YouTube, Bruce C. Max here, giving you guys another video to the YouTube Airwaves. I wanted to mention a precedent for my last video. I will have all my stuff uniform in a couple of weeks, but uh, enough about that, I went into it last video. This video is going to be about teamwork and using what you are best with. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just casually mention the gameplay here. This is a gameplay from my tournament win last night with my team. We placed third, by the way, but I didn't find out until this morning. This is one of our first maps uh, from the first teams we played, but uh, they decided to essentially dispute the map, but we were in the wrong because one of our teammates was using something he shouldn't have been, but we actually 3-0'd that team, and, and they got pretty salty about it. But enough about that, although I will constantly reference the gameplay later as an allusion to what we're talking about today. So, first off, guys, use what you're best with whenever you're playing Call of Duty. Now, I know that that's a pretty common tip, and a lot of people do it, and... Well, I think it's a lot of a uh, statement to say it's overlooked. You know, people, they use what other people tell them to use. And um, and the reason I picked this topic is because the gameplay matches perfectly. I, I use a bow in the beginning, and the bow is what everybody goes to in Advanced Warfare. And uh, I like the bow, but there are, just, there are some things about it that don't handle right with me. It just doesn't fit me. And, uh, you know, I'm a, not a mainstream kind of guy to begin with, but we'll get to that in another day. Essentially what I end up doing is uh, pulling out a shotgun and especially in competitive play people are kind of like whoa You know shotguns what but uh, it worked. I get this huge 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 clutch play I got a 1v3 and I actually shot the dude with probably three seconds or so left to spare It was actually a pretty amazing play and I, I choke later on in the video you'll see it but Essentially, what that play did enabled my team to get the momentum to carry on the match, and uh, and I'm not by any means attributing the whole match to uh, to myself. I mean, my team without them, I, I would have completely, you know, just choked. It wouldn't have mattered if I had like a god rifle. It just you need your team in order to succeed. So I'm not by any means taking credit for the whole match, just that round, and um, that round therefore enabled us to win the game. So in a way, I did. Uh, majorly contribute to our win, but it wasn't by any means all my doing. Now a lot of you might be sitting out there thinking, well all my friends use this, or this is the best gun that I see everybody use, and the most common reason that everybody uses weapons uh, are, that are the same, so the BAL in this game, uh, the Remington and Ghost, the M8, AN94 and Black Ops 2 is because they're easy to use, but uh, hard to master. You know, anybody can pick up an AN-94 and do well with it, but in order to truly master that gun, uh, you know, you have to be top-notch to your uh, top of the line. So, what my way of thinking is to pick up a gun that is a high-risk, high-reward, the weapon that has a high skill cap. If you take a shotgun, it's a prime example. You, The hardest part of shotgunning is actually getting close to somebody. Uh, I'll make a video on how to properly use a shotgun later, but that's going to include a lot of tactical stuff that I'm not going to get into. But a shotgun, the reason everybody hates shotguns is because they instantly die from them. Well, there's kind of a, uh, a caveat to that. I have to get within pretty much kissing range of you to do anything with it. So, and even then, it might not it might not work, as you'll see in the video. Uh, I can get hit markers from point blank range with a shotgun, but that's what a shotgun uh, assumes the risk of doing, you know, with a shotgun, you inherently take the risk that you might get a hit marker at point blank range. My whole point is that you can use whatever gun tailors to your playstyle. Now, I like to flank, and I like to be crafty, and I like to completely confuse people. Gee, I wonder what weapon coincides with that category. <coughs> Shotguns. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, anyway, so. If, you know, if you are kind of a person that sits back and camps, a sniper rifle would be a good choice, and an AR never hurts. So, definitely just go with your own gut instinct. If you have a certain playstyle, try to tailor your weapon to your playstyle. Do not tailor your playstyle to your weapon. That will end up killing you. Do the same thing with your perks, do the same thing with your teammates, do the same thing with the way you run the maps, do the same thing with with uh, how you even play the game. Everything that you do should revolve around how you play because it will all synergize together to create your unique playstyle and your way of doing things. Do not ever let anyone else tell you how to play the game unless they have a tip on how to improve your specific playstyle. Now I'm not saying go and ignore Nate Shot's advice, alright? Obviously somebody like Nate Shot has been playing the game for a very long time, but what I mean is if you have somebody that tells you you should play your playstyle 
X, Y, Z, and they have no credibility whatsoever. They're just some random kid. They're saying that because they see your play style as alien, and, you know, prime example in this gameplay, I, uh, the reason we had to forfeit the first map was our fault, but they tried to pass off some quick draw McGraw bullshit that said that the, uh, cloak was banned in the game, and, uh, it most certainly isn't, actually, but, uh, because it was on the tournament rule set that the only exo ability banned was pink, but, uh, they said, and I said, well, Cloak isn't banned, and they said, well, using an invisible shotgun is. And I could tell at that moment that they were, the reason that they were doing this was because they were angry at how I played, because I played so well, and the concept of somebody doing this to them was so foreign. See, this is probably what pissed them off, right here. I just boost, boost, slide, and there you go. I had about three seconds left to kill the guy, but I ended up doing it that round right there was a 1v3. That is the kind of playstyle that you guys need to, uh, uh, I was going to say that's the kind of playstyle that you guys need to adapt to, but that's not true, because you're your own playstyle. You guys do you. I, I can't tell you how to play Call of Duty, but uh, what I mean is that uh, that carry out, that delivery, that execution of your playstyle is what you need to uh, have happen. So if you play with an AR, plays like that are going to be momentous. So when you can learn to adapt to your playstyle to make those kinds of plays happen, uh, you will you'll do really well. And it takes a lot of time. I've been playing Call of Duty competitively for we're going on four years now, but uh, and I've been playing Call of Duty for almost twice that. I don't I can't do the actual math right now, but I've been playing since COD 4, so you guys can figure out how long I've been playing. Uh, but I uh, I really wanted to put this video out there to inspire a lot of you because. I was getting some doubts, uh, both within myself and within my team. At later, I don't do so well with the shotgun, and that's when you know it's time to put it up and uh, change your playstyle a little bit. And I'll go ahead and get on to that topic while we're here. Changing your playstyle. When somebody says to change your playstyle, they generally don't mean entirely change your playstyle. They mean change your playstyle to the game. Your playstyle has to be adaptable, and it has to be flexible, and it has to be something that you can change at a moment's notice. Now, I'm not saying don't change your playstyle every time you die. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if it requires it, if you're dying over and over and over again, if your normal, typical, average routine is not working, then you've got to find some way to change it. And maybe pull out a different gun, maybe run the map differently. There are all kinds of different things that you can do. But it still all goes back to the heart of your playstyle, right? Because if you, uh, if you, if your playstyle doesn't coincide with what your team needs or uh, you know how you're doing KD wise it often means that you'll have to go ahead and adapt to it or switch it up if you can't do that that's when you go and seek help and you and you go and try and talk to somebody that can tell you how to adapt or change your playstyle so guys with all that said I think I'm on a bit of a ramble here I will let you go ahead and enjoy the gameplay we do end up winning so thank you for watching, and please tune in for my next video. Also, follow me on Twitter. It's at Rue underscore CMAX. I'll throw that in the description. And uh, like I said, thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. I'll see you next time. Great job. Get ready for the next round. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Defend the objective.
bomb has been planted. that fight but it's not over switching sides search and destroy Destroy the objective. Lost that fight, but it's not over. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Defend the objective. Good job, Atlas.